Practice exercise 4.17 stutter asked us to write a method called stutter. So we're going to make a public static void stutter. We accept a parameter. Our parameter is going to be of type string. So we're going to do string. We'll call it string. And we return a string. So we're going to have to change the void to be a string. And then this is going to be our method header. And our string inside of here is going to be returned with our characters repeated twice. So we are going to have to return a new string. We will say string new string is equal to nothing right now. We just have to declare and initialize it. So how long do we want to do this? Well, we're going to want to do this with a for loop. We're going to do this with a for loop because we have a certain amount of characters in our string, like for hello exclamation mark. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we should be returning 12 things. That means we're going to run this for loop. As long as our int a is less than our string dot length. And this is lowercase string, meaning the string right here. And we're just going to have a plus plus. So we go through the entire thing. Now we want to add the current um, character in our string to the new string. And every single time we look at this. So the first time we go through this for loop, we're going to add this character. And then we're going to add this character, which is the E, and then this one, and so on and so forth. But we're going to have to do it twice. So we will do new string plus equals. And then we're going to have string dot char at. And we can use this A is equal to zero because it's incrementing every single time. So it's going to get the uh, next index every single time. We want to have this repeated because we need two, as we see right here. And it's very simple. We'll just have these two repeat right here. If we had more things, we could even have a loop inside of here that would do this uh, X many times. So we could have another for loop that would run this as long as A is less than uh, two because it's telling us two repeated here. Or if we were passed in an integer parameter that declares that, we could use that parameter and use it to see how many times we would want to stutter. So now that we have that, we can end our for loop and we can just return our new string because once we break out of our for loop, we're going to be totally done. And so we can finish this, click submit, run the code, and we pass six out of six tests. So that's it for this Praxit 4.17 stutter.